Good morning, folks. It's been a couple days. Man, doing these daily vlogs, they are not doing too well for me. I am constantly forgetting. I did have some footage uploaded. Nothing spectacular, so I thought I'd just scratch and start over. Um, right now, I'm heading to the dump. Yes, one of the most glamorous parts of my job is taking stuff to the garbage. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Today it's stuff from the house, you know, a week or two of forgetting to set the garbage cans out. Ends up going to the back of my truck and then I haul it off. I've got a truck full of stuff at the shop too I need to get rid of. Uh, today, I'm sitting at about, well I'm sitting at 260 listings for the next catalog. Some cool pieces, I got some cool pot, uh, pottery coming up. Um, the signs that we purchase are doing pretty well. I just have to sell them for four bucks and I got my money back on them. And some of them are getting well over that. Uh, I have to move furniture to the store this week. I've already got one couch sold, possibly a dresser. So that is my goal this week is move furniture over. Part of that is clearing out this portion of the shop. We do have very limited space, so that's where the challenge is going to come. I've got some stuff in the shop that I need to move out, and we're going to set up the whole front area. And it's not a lot of space, but it's it's enough to get some of that furniture in there, so I can start putting it on Facebook Marketplace and getting it sold. Um, That is a big goal this this week. I want to try to hit at least, I'd like to hit 350. That's only 90 listings today. I'd like to hit 350 today. This is Wednesday. We launch our auction on Friday. If I can get um, to 350 a day, that means I, I should be able to get well into 400. Fine. So, well, I'm pulling in. They don't like me to have my cell phone going so I'm going to shut down for just a second. Well that was uneventful. I got all the garbage out. Um, today I have three packages going out. Uh, actually um, four. We've got some uh, Kathleen's got a package going out. Some uh, mugs. I have Barbie, bobblehead, bobble cut with coat. I th I'm guessing it's late 60, maybe 68, 68 to 71, let's just say, because I am no expert on Barbies. I thought it would have gotten a little bit more traction. It actually sold for, I want to say, $25 roughly, plus shipping, um, fairly easy ship. Also sold a magazine, um, and I have. Uh, Nike, uh, they call it Nike Brassy. It's got like a hound's tooth, black and white design on it. I sold that for forty dollars. It was an estate sale find. Yet, um, it it was in that lot of stuff I got from the estate sale last weekend or the weekend before. Uh, so I paid um, eighty five dollars. I ended up with four bags. Uh, uh, Sony a CD player uh, with remote little portable CD player that one I'm pushing through our auction the uh, I pushed the Burberry I, I'm 95% I'm sure it was a knockoff so I pushed it through our auction house as a knockoff unauthenticated and I did put in my concerns in the description right now I think it's sitting with a six or eight dollar bid and um, we'll see if it gains any traction as the auction continues. Most of the action on the auction happens on Wednesdays as it's closing, so we'll see how I do on that. The one thing about that, I don't have any fees associated with it. It's all strictly goes back into the store. Let's see, um, here's Yabolo Fire King. 
why don't you go to your computer and do an eBay search on Fire King coffee mugs. You're gonna look at, uh, maybe look for a gingham pattern, um, promotional, uh, look at, you know, some of the things we, we see on a regular basis come through is, uh, I, I've seen the McDonald's um, mugs, this is all vintage, the M McDonald's mugs have come through a couple of times. Um, but really anything with bright colors on it. Uh, character glasses and mugs, those do pretty well. Just uh, go do a search, don't take my word for it. Uh, do a look, because you can come across those things quite often. And the thing you're gonna look for is you know, quality, make sure there's no chips. Uh, we've learned, learned over the year that as you're looking at glass, run your finger around the edge and um, see if you feel any nicks or, or anything like that. Don't be afraid to sh of shipping as long as you leave your padding around all of it. Uh, chances are there, it's going to make it there just fine. That Fire King stuff is pretty resilient. It's pretty durable stuff. Uh, I've mentioned Corel as well. Do that finger test with that see if the edges feel smooth or you, you'll get the feel of it if it feels a little bit rough or I don't know how, to, how else to describe it. It's not like bumpy rough but it's it's not like glass smooth either. But surprisingly there is a lot of money in glass and porcelain as long as you you get you know you find the right things <clears throat> just like anything else. I am, I put the uh, five foot Santa blow mold on, I listed him at 450 free shipping. That was another item I picked up at the estate sale last weekend. I've got plenty of watchers on it uh, and I, I'm sending out offers as well. We'll see how well I do. I'd like to, uh, you know, if I got 300, I think I would be happy. 300 free shipping. Um, I'm not here to. I'm not here to maximize. Well, it's not that I'm not here to maximize profit. It's you can put a high price on something, and it's not profit until it's sold. I am. I'll say this again. I'm in the business of moving stuff. I don't want it sitting. I don't want to become a hoarder which I find myself, we're finally getting that, to that back area in, at the shop, we're cleaning it out. I've still got, you know, a ways to go. We've expended, we've added, I don't know if I talked about this before, but we have a, what we call our garage sale section. And there's a, a, a area across the wall as you come in that everything's a dollar. Um, books and Christmas is 50 cents, they're two for a dollar. So we, uh, and it's just trying to move that stuff. It still has, it still has value, but our hopes is to get rid of it before we have to take it to donation. And I'll go through there and purge it occasionally. It's going to be a revolving set of shelves, meaning probably it's going to be moving through there quite a bit. We're taking a portion of that to go to um, charity. I think we figured on 30%, and this is all, the, the amounts and the charity is kind of up in the air. We're still discussing it. But I wanted to be, um, I wanted to put some towards the Wounded Warrior Program, and um, Kathleen wanted to put some to towards, it's, there's like some kind of mil <clears throat> has to do with military family support. So I'll probably go 15, 15, and then um, that way we can give back. And it also incentivizes, I have some, <coughs> excuse me, I have some consigners that just want to, they don't want me to do anything with this stuff. They just want me to get rid of it, make it disappear. Um, up until this point, I didn't want to um, put their stuff on the garage sale stuff and earn profit off of it, but 
you know, a portion of the charity going to will be fine. They're okay. I mean, I think that's a sweetened deal to just put it on that shelf. Oh, uh, we'll see in just a minute. My wife's coming. And as I'm sitting there going to the dumb and stuff, I sold another magazine, so it looks like I have four packages going out today. I wish it was more. I want to move those magazines. I'm about to the point where I want to start lotting them up. I found with my new store, I've called and increased my selling limits. Um, I think I just have the, the regular basic subscription, the, the first store level you can have. And I reached my at first you know I had a 50 I think a 50 listing max got it raised to 100 I, I reached that and then I'm now I'm sitting at 250 and I've reached that for monthly listings so uh, I think I have two slots left for the month so I'm like, I'm gonna stop putting these magazines on and start adding some more valuable product. The one thing that uh, they did stop doing that the, the individual I spoke to at, on their their toll-free number was to that each store has to hold its own, uh, you know, as far as reputation and stuff. If you have multiple stores, they're no longer allowing you to use the reputation you have on one store to, um, affect your second store so I found that kind of interesting what else I think that's about it I'm gonna go ahead and release this video just so I have something up thanks for um, checking it out I might go live this afternoon with Kathleen in the office uh, she can help keep y'all entertained it's kind of hard to just sit and watch somebody work but it's uh, a lot more fun when she's there. Anyway, I will catch you next time.